The supply list to make the French seam pillowcase requires one piece of fabric that's cut from the bolt at 24 inches. So this came off the bolt, here's the fold, here's the selvages, and then the piece is cut. Um, these are the cut ends here, here, that are 24 inches. And then you need a coordinating piece that will be the same uh, by the width of the bolt. So that is from here to here. Here's the fold, here are the selvages, and then this is the cut piece, 12 inches. So um, you may need to press those to make sure they're nice and smooth, but the first set of instructions tell you to open the body of the fabric on a large surface. I've got my cutting table here, and you want the fabric to be right side up. And if there's a direction to your fabric, which mine sort of does have a direction, these little patterns, um, the way that they're facing me, this would be the top. So I wanna lay that out flat on my cutting surface. When you're doing this in class, you may do this on your tabletop if you clear it all away, or on the floor, or you can go out to the hallway. There's some extra tables out there. So I'll have that open wide. You have your selvage ends over here, and then your fabric is just laid out flat. The next piece is the band or the cuff. So this is the body. When you're reading the directions, this is the body piece. The large one is the body, and then this is the cuff. So we're gonna open it up as well, and then we're gonna line the pieces up just along the top cut edges, okay? So um, I'll start over with one of my selvage ends. I'm not sure if you can see that in the video, but I'll start out with one selvage end lined up even. And I'm going to put my pins in. Normally we don't do this. We're gonna put our pins in uh, parallel to the edge just so we don't poke ourselves during the next step. So I'm gonna just smooth it out as I go, placing pins in along the top edge. And we'll do that all the way across. And I'm pulling it pretty smooth when I go. Now what you're gonna end up seeing is that depending on what fabric you choose, your selvage ends may or may not line up perfectly, and that is okay. So we start out matching it up perfectly on one end, matching it up perfectly across the top cut end, and then later, if we need, we can trim off any excess on the other selvage side. So it really is a great project because you don't have to worry about any of that matching. You just trim off any of the extra that you don't need later. Okay, so almost done with the pins. And just like I was saying there, this end down here, um, the cuff piece just hangs over just a little bit over the edge of the body, and that is totally fine. It's okay. All right, so that is um, the first two steps. Basically, you have your body and your cuff, and now we're ready to do the trick to have an invisible seam.